Good evening, thanks for joining us on the news of eight. Today is the fourth day in the month of May 2022. I am Grace Walker here for Keep Off Deadlines. Abia government won scrap dealers against vandalizing public assets and street life poems. Minivan student protest as ASU strike enters day 80. No pay, no work is our stand, says National Association of Academic Technologies. We'll take commercials and we'll be right back with the details and many more. Stay connected. The biggest bang of the season is about to go down. It's the ABN TV Service Awards 2022 at Sheraton's Hotels, Abuja. Welcome back. Now the details. Abia State government has cushioned those with court criminal elements engaging in the insurance act of vandalizing street light poles and iron those used for doing works in ABBA and selling them as crap. The government fingered metal crap dealers who engage the assistance of cart pushers as responsible for this act. In a statement on Tuesday by the Chief of Staff to the Governor of Abia State, Chief O.K. Inouye, said the government will not sit back and watch criminal elements sabotage public infrastructure in the state. Member representing Ikwano and Omaha North and South Federal Constituency of Abia State, Honorable Sam Onibo, has concluded arrangements to declare his intentions to seek election to represent Abia Central Sierra District in 2023. He will officially declare on Friday, May 6, 2022. A new political movement, Action People's Party, APP, has been floated in Abia and the leadership says it is committed to bringing change in the governance of the state. ABN TV reports that APP says it is worried that things are not working the way they ought to, insisting that things are in a deplorable state, stating that APP, which is a coming together of like minds from various political parties is a pl platform to bring change in the state. A Norton grassroots mobilizer who is an advocate of the South East to produce the next president of Nigeria, Alhaji Mutala Muhammad, 1010, through his group called on the entire Nigerians to support the presidential ambition of all Jews or Kalu. The National Coordinator for the All Jews or Kalu grassroots mobilizer for President 2023 said Nigerians, especially politicians and the less privileged who have electoral values, should support the former governor of Abia State to be the next Nigerian president. The indigenous people of Biafra has denied being responsible for the killing of a military couple in transit to your state. In a statement on Wednesday, the group's media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, described the accusation by the Nigerian army of IPOPs masterminding the act as laughable and fallacious. A man has been arrested in River State for allegedly attempting to bribe the command of Nigerian Navy ship and MNS Pathfinder with 700,000 to release his seized boat containing 80 drones of illegally refined. Diesel. The wooden boat and products were intercepted during a recent operation by the agency. Students of the University of Benin, Uniben, have taken to the streets to protest the ongoing strike by the academic staff union of the university's ASU, which entered its 80th day. The nation learned students of the institution blocked the ever busy Benin Lagos Expressway School Gate and Ring Road. Minister of Transportation and All Progressives Congress APC Presidential Hopeful Mr. Ruti Amechi has blamed the light of the country's woes. He said these are the 2022 World Press Freedom Day organized by the Nigerian Union of Journalists in Uyo, a bomb capital. He tasked Nigerians to hold politicians accountable for their actions in governance. The National Association of Academic Technologies, NAT, has called on President Mahmoud Bari led federal government to restore the dignity of Nigeria's tertiary institutions through increased budgetary allocations and the creation of an enabling environment for the staff to excel. The union also states that its position regarding the government's recent contraction of no payment of salary to striking varsity's workers in the country is no pay, no work. 
The Kano State Governor Abdullahi Umar Gandhiji has pardoned 19 inmates across correctional centers in the state. The governor granted the prisoners pardon when he paid a salary visit to the Gorm Buse Correctional Center in Kano on Monday. Alongside some members of the State Executive Council SEC, party leaders and other top government dignitaries. The governor, according to a statement issued by his spokesman, Alba Awa, asked the pardon inmate to report to the government and register for skills accusation programs, while assuring that more inmates will be pardoned in the next 70 days during a Delcabri celebration. On the foreign scene, Russia indefinitely banned 63 Japanese citizens, including Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, from entering Russian state news agency RA. Novosti reported on Wednesday that members of Krishna's cabinet, including Foreign Minister Yoshimasa Yahishi and Defense Minister Nobio Kishi and Finance Minister Shunichi Zuchi, have also been barred from entering the country and as well as members of the parliament and the military RA reports. While in sports, Samuel Tigreza alongside stars like Barcelona's Sergio Busquets and Real Madrid Jim Tabut, coaches and Marcelo were included in the Spanish La Liga team of the week. Football Fact and Statistics website WhoScore.com published the team of the week on their Twitter handle on Tuesday. Chukweze made the list following his impressive performance for Villarre away to the Padre Alvas, which he met with a goal. And this brings us to the end of the news at 8. I'm sorry, girl, we can run into headlines. Abia government wants crap dealers against vandalizing public asset and street life homes. Unigan is today in protest as ASU strike enters the 80. No pay, no work is our stance, says National Association of Academic Technologists. These are many more of our platforms. Just log on to www.avntv.com.ng and you can also follow us on our social media platforms being displayed on your screen. I am Grace Stokers and Kachanapuza Mitress. Stay safe.